this is Charlie. Why don't we go ahead and uh, take a look at the uh, Cordova various plugins. We have two plugins that in this project, one for working with the camera and one for working with vibration. Here are the commands to install those, which I put in the setup plugin script right here. Okay. And um, we've also got <clears throat> control.js where our code is. So once we've installed the plugins, we can call navigator vibrate and it will vibrate the phone for however many milliseconds we specify here. Or once we've installed the camera plugin, then the navigator will have a camera object and it can take a picture and have an on success, on fail, and some configuration options that are passed to it. If we have success, we get a image control, um, which we've placed here, an image element, HTML image element called elf image and we've got a default image showing in it. So we grab a hold of that image and then we, on success, take the image data, the picture that the user took, and we place it and display it in there. I won't be able to show you that because we're showing this on a virtual box um, emulator, which can't actually take a picture. But if you install that on your phone, it certainly takes pictures on my phone. So that's all I can tell you about it. So um, why don't we just go ahead then and we'll look at the readme file which has the steps so we need to first do cordova platform set up android then set up our plugins that's run these two commands and then we do a bower install and then we run install and go ahead and uh, and install the program so why don't we go ahead and do that we'll go to the command prompt here and um right now you can see well let's do a clear here and you can see that we don't have the platforms thing. And if we look in plugins, it's empty. And if we look at the um, <clears throat> www folder, there's no power components in there. So let's go ahead and do Cordova platform add Android. And we'll, we'll run that. And what that does is first it goes ahead and sets up the Android platform and then it copies in our icons, custom icons to give our app a special look. And now when we do a ls-l, dash, um, dash you can see that we now have a platforms directory. Mm -hmm. And then we can, if we'll then run the setup plugins and after running setup plugins, you can see that it installed, it downloads the camera and the vibration plugins from the registry and then installs them. And if we now look in our plugins directory, you can see there's our, there's the two plugins. Both of these are built in. The Apache builds the camera and the vibrations plugins. Um, so now we want to do our Bower install. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. We'll do Bower install. And after doing that, if we look in the um, www directory, you can see the power components is there. So we're all set. So the only thing left to do now is to run install. This will do Cordova build Android, then uninstall um, our application if it were if it were installed, but it's not. So it, that command will just fail, but it won't hurt us to have it fail. It fails without trouble. And then we'll run install and we'll install our APK, which is the executable containing our um, Cordova app, our Android app that we're going to install. So um, let's go ahead then and just run that. And it runs and a, a, a bunch of commands go by as it as it builds the uh, as it builds the component. Um, we'll talk about this in a second, but one of the uh, commands in there specifies that the executable is Cordova app underscore APK or something to that effect. And um, that can differ. So now the build was successful. The uninstall was a failure, which is what we wanted, but the install was a success. So build successful, failure for the uninstall since we hadn't put anything in there yet and success for the install. So now if we come over here and look, whoops, if we come over and look at the um, Android, you can see that there's our Elven Various in there. And this is a control there with a the default picture in it. 
um, that was taken January in Seattle right before the uh, Super Bowl in downtown Seattle in the rain in the evening. And um, the vibrate button, if you pressed it, would make it vibrate if you were holding a phone. And the photo button, if you pressed it, would make the photo go if we were on a phone. Then the, fo then the camera would pop up. The user would be able to click the button, decide whether they wanted to keep the picture. And if they did want it, it would be displayed where our picture of Seattle is showing up there. So you just have to take my word for it that it would work on a real phone since I, have, I can't demo it here with just the camera on the screen like this with a screen capture. So let's see what's left. The um, one thing that we did, we talked about the fact that the install um, rights ADB install platforms, Android Ant build Cordova app debug. And sometimes, as we mentioned before, it might, instead of being Cordova app, it might be main activity um, dash debug dot APK or something to that effect. So we can do a find if you're curious what it is, if, if you're having troubles, find, use the built-in find command and you'd want to look for start at APK, and then you can see that in our case, it is called Cordova app dash debug dot APK. But if you had said main activity dash debug dot APK, then obviously you would want to um, modify the um, install script to write main activity instead of Cordova app here. Um, the com elvenware dot elven various since you're just downloading the program from JS objects will stay the same, but if you needed to see what it was, you can always do config XML and then up here on the top, you can see the actual name here and you can get it and modify the install script as needed. And here's the actual name that gets displayed in the program. So that's it. That's all I'm going to say about this one. Have fun playing with this stuff. It's good stuff. It's got phones in it. It's got vibration in it. It does all the things that you'd want. All right, bye now. Mm -hmm.